Leo, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. All right, Leo, I wanna give you what you're looking for. So I have looked at my top Leo videos, uh, top views and uh, top likes, all of that. And your top ones are Leo, love reading, they hate each other. And then the next one down is Leo, why do they act like they hate you? So what's going on? Why are you feeling like, why are you feeling hated? So let's go with the top one. They hate each other. Leo. These people are hating on each other. Who are they? Let's have a look for you. I remember that reading actually. Leo. Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There's also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. The only way you're going to get a reading with me is if you click that link to get a reading from my website. You have to come to me. I'm not going to come to you, not ever. If somebody comes to you, it's somebody pretending to be me. And uh, it's not me, so don't fall for it. You have to come to my website. All right. Leo, they hate each other. Who are they? Yeah, Jesus, it's coming out again. Okay. So the overall vibe here, we've got the King of Swords in Reverse. I don't like the King of Swords in Reverse. He's a butthole. The, the cause of the King of Swords in Reverse is the Five of Swords. This is about betrayal and... Somebody, somebody winning at all costs and it doesn't really matter who they trample over to get what they want and because of that i feel like this is your person this is not you this is somebody who you want to be with they are with somebody that they are in constant conflict with so this is someone who's not available to you and uh, they're in a relationship that they, for some reason, by the looks of things, can't leave. And you have made a connection with this person. They're very lonely, two, two of wands here. They're very lonely and they, they want to love somebody. They want to give somebody their heart. And it sort of feels like they're looking at you from a distance. So you might not live close to this person. This could be somebody that you've met online or, I don't know, you met at a party or something and then they went home or you went home, but it's a long way. They want to come towards you and have a relationship, do all the things that people in relationships do. They want to put that effort in, but they can't. There are restrictions that are put on them, this person. They can't give you what you want because of this person. Tell me more about this other person in their life. What's going on in this relationship? The other person in their life, um, they're probably a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They're very cold and unyielding. There's no passion in their relationship. Um, interesting that I... I'm gonna sneeze. 
<laughs> Thank you. They loved this person at one time. I think they're probably married. They were very much in love with this person at one time. Um, but not with them, uh, with what this person brought to the relationship. I think that they felt they jumped into it a little bit too quickly. Uh, I think they were just looking for somebody to look after them in a way. They wanted something stable. They wanted somebody like their mother. You know that? And they got that pretty much exactly, and that's kind of one of the reasons why they hate them. on from this but it's, it, it looks like they can't really it sort of looks like you can't be with this person but they're in a relationship with someone else and they freaking hate them and they, they hate them too this person wants to give to you everything they want to be in a relationship with you they want to look after you they want to love you and give you what you want but they can't because they're in a karmic relationship with somebody else they see you as being this beautiful wonderful vibrant uh, independent person and they just want to I want to sweep you off your feet, basically, romantically. They want to, they want to just pour out how they feel, but they can't because this is the person. Best you can hope for, you got to set some boundaries with this person. If they're not going to leave what they're unhappy in, That's their problem, you know. What century do they live in where they feel like they have to be married to someone or in a relationship with someone where they're unhappy? They need to make changes in their life. And if they're not going to make changes, then they can't have you. That's the boundaries you need to set. You need to make them think, all right, well, if I, I can't have the person that I want if I don't make changes in my life that are essential then I'm going to lose that person and I can't lose that person. This is like, I have a future. I could have, I could be happy with this person. So you set your boundaries. That's what you need to do. If they're going to be in a relationship with someone that they hate and they're going to stick with it because they're a coward. That's their problem. This is not, if you don't set your boundaries, you're not going to get you what you want, your wish fulfillment. If you don't set your boundaries, they're going to stick being in a relationship that makes them unhappy and it's, it's a heavy burden for them. They are gonna, they, they're gonna leave. But they need that incentive that they would lose you. So you have to stick to your boundaries. You have to say, I'm not going to let you into my life if you don't make the changes that you need to make, positive changes in your life. And it's not like you're making demands of this person. It's like you're saying, I, I'm not going to be second best. 
make a decision. Yeah, I'll get off the pot. That's what my grandma used to do. Instead of swearing, she'd make a sound that would, eh. <laughs> she'd mouth the word. And then just make a eh. <laughs> sound. Eh. I'll get off the pot. Everyone else had a grandma like that. So the outcome. They have to make a decision. The reason they're not making a decision, the reason they're staying with this person that they're very desperately unhappy with is because they're afraid of what the neighbors will say or gossip, rumors, what kind of things people will say. So there's got to be some sort of thing that people will be shocked at if they left this person. Like maybe the person's unwell but they freaking hate each other. Uh, maybe they've got kids, but that would be a very unhealthy relationship for the kids to grow up observing. They have, they have a decision to make. They stay in a relationship that is uh, well, it's not a relationship anymore. They hate each other. And they lose the one thing that actually makes them happy at the moment, which is you. Or they, to hell with the rumors, to hell with the gossip. And they, they make that change that they need to make and they come towards happiness. I'm going to I'm going to take this into extended in a second. I'm going to ask about them and how they feel about you. How do they feel about you? How do they see you? What are their intentions towards you? But I'll also look at how they feel about this person that they freaking hate, which they they hate them. But I sort of want to know I think it's really important what are their intentions towards you? Are they going to make a move? Let's have some guidance from the universe as well. Have faith in your dreams, so you want to be with this person. Have faith, okay? Expect powerful change. You set your boundaries and you don't let anybody cross your boundaries. You'd be surprised what comes your way and what you can manifest. Love Bites by Def Leppard. When I'm with you, I somewhere else. I'm getting through. Oh, do you please, self? All right, thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And uh, if you want to watch the extended, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. You'll find the vid there. Bye.